pre-industrial self-sufficiency for at least 100,000 years, tribal cultures have existed across the planet, living in sustainable harmony with nature. As recently as the 1800s, tribes populated half the earth, but now comprise only 1-2% of the world's population. Contrary to popular opinion, studies of a number of tribes, such as the Shoshone culture and the Kung and Hottentots of Africa, indicate that members of many primitive tribes spend an average of only 2-4 to four hours a day attending to gathering food and other necessities of life. The rest of their time is devoted to family, arts, music, and other leisure activities. Few of us in the Western world could claim similar amounts of leisure time. Another common fallacy is that of poor health and short lifespan among hunter-gatherers. Anthropologist Mark Nathan Cohen, in his book Health and the Rise of Civilization, points out that the lifespans of agricultural peoples have exceeded those of hunter-gatherers and foragers only during the last 100 years ago in 1989-135. Apparently, most of this gain has been since the introduction of sulfa drugs, penicillin, and other modern antibiotics. Prior to the advent of modern medicine, archaeological records indicate that hunter-gatherers averaged 5 to 6 inches taller, had more teeth left at the time of death, and lived longer than agricultural peoples. The older people used to say that the trees, the rocks, the birds, and the animals used to talk. They had a voice, and today, as I realize it, they still have a voice. My people always say that you have to take care of them in order for you to continue on. If you don't, when they die off, you are going to die off with them.